Why should we integrate sustainability into healthcare quality improvement? I really like this graph. I think it's got a lot in it. It, it shows the historical carbon emissions of the NHS here, and then the projected carbon emissions on the right hand side. Now, if we uh, assume a number of actions, coloured purple here, are taken outside of the healthcare sector, then we would expect the carbon footprint of healthcare to go down to this blue line. But then if we want to go any further, we need to take actions ourselves. And the majority of these, if you look at them, will require clinicians to be directly involved in introducing these changes, working out how, how they will go in practice. And furthermore, there are a number of actions needed beyond that to get down to 80 and what should now be 100% carbon reduction by 2050. And we just don't know yet what those are going to be. So somehow we're going to need innovation and a lot of that will need to be clinical innovation that incorporates sustainability. But what happens at the moment, clinical innovation takes place completely separately from sustainability efforts. They're owned by different stakeholders in the organisations, they have different drivers and clinical innovation is considered close to the core mission of healthcare, of providing excellent care, um, whereas sustainability is a secondary consideration. So what if we could change this? And one way I think this could happen is if sustainability became integrated into the mainstream methods and processes of healthcare quality improvement, which many clinicians are now learning and practicing. The core principle behind this would be that the, pur the purpose of quality improvement would become not so much to improve quality, but to improve value of healthcare, and that value would be defined in a broader way, not just outcomes, health outcomes over the costs of, of what we're doing, in, term, in their financial terms, but health outcomes for patients and populations from the, the whole costs of environmental, social and financial domains. And this will become the guiding purpose and principle of um, improvement efforts and indeed management within the NHS. <laughs>